to keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presents the most important news of the day. Monday, February 28th of 2022, in his accountability speech from the National Congress, President Luis Abinader assured that he will do everything in his power to mitigate inflation and that among the measures he will adopt will be continued with the fuel subsidy to avoid further increases due to the increase in oil prices in international markets. President Luis Abinader was in favor of the approval of, of the forfeiture law to recover the money stolen from the public treasury and asked the legislative power to join in this purpose. President Luis Abinader also announced yesterday the implementation this year of a plan to strengthen different areas of the health system, among which he mentioned the care of patients with cancer, trauma, kidney failures, and burns. President Luis Abinader promised yesterday the digitalization of certain services, such as the launch of a platform for citizens to make their complaints without having to go to a police station. Yesterday afternoon, the traditional Te Deum was officiated at the Primate Cathedral of America, a solemn religious ceremony that takes place every year on National Independence Day, and which President Luis Abinader attended after rendering accounts of his second year in office before the National Assembly. In the last two years, the world has changed. The pandemic put all kinds of health and economic activity to the test, and the Dominican Republic did not escape this, which for a long time has focused its economic base on the service industry, on imports of inputs and intermediated goods, as well as practically unthinkable final goods. The Partido de la Liberación Dominicana, PLD, the Dominican Medical College, CMD, and representative of various sectors of the national economy, stated that Luis Abinader's speech, they consider he left many questions unanswered, while others value it as positive. The executive director of the National Institute of Potable Water and Sewage, INAPA, Wellington Arnott, met the representatives for the Haina community, where he announced the start of construction of the Itavo Aqueduct with investment of 300 million pesos. For this and more information, you can visit listindiario.com for Listing Diario, voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez. To keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.